As a man who frequently has to ask Peter and Ben to stop speaking in their made-up language of Rick and Morty quotes, I'm always uttering three words loudly in the office. F**k. Adam. Pachiti. I mean, what. The. F WTF moments, trademark King Ross, have always been a part of gaming. After all, it's a medium in which you can have your characters fly, or break the fourth wall, or be a woman. Crazy, I tell ya! Nah, 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 joking aside, I thought I'd have a look back at the last ten years and find the moments that made your brain do a backflip and your mouth utter those famous three words. That's. My. Cocaine. Shit. I mean, what. The. F trademark King Ross. With this in mind, I'm JulesWhatCulture.com and these are the ten biggest WTF gaming moments of the decade, so far. Number 10. All we have are raisins. Resonance of fate. First off, play this f***ing game. It's got a wicked story and a fantastically fun combat system. It's also got Nolan North and his lovely voice as one of the leads, which is just beautiful. And let me tell you, this cutscene has made all the better for it. So, in summary, the three leads have been summoned to a cardinal's house, one of the ruling classes in the game, and have been told to fetch a bottle of wine for the rather ample-chested lady. Nolan North, aka Vashron, believes that this is an invitation to, and I quote, unleash those bunker busters, and so does a little dance of joy before lamenting that while the woman is offering big, ripe grapes, all he's used to are raisins, in form of the female member of his group. Wow. I mean, it doesn't get more Japanese than that, does it really? It's crass, it's hilarious, and in a game about people fighting against a regimented system of religion on a city elevated above a poisoned world, it's incredibly weird. Number 9. Threesome, The Witcher 3, Wild Hunt. Witcher 3, like me on a stabbing spree, loves a bit of the old in and out. There are several times in the game and the franchise as a whole where you can bed women, but The Witcher 3 takes your expectations and injects a little dose of levelling humour into it. So throughout the story, you're given the option as to whether you want to romance Yen or Triss, and you can choose one or neither if you're not feeling it. You can also try your luck at bedding them both, and it's here that the devs are like, oh, okay, slow down there, playboy, you can have both these beautiful women. And then it leads gamers through a scene where it looks like big G's are about to come true, only for him to be left handcuffed to a bed while the woman leave to enjoy a nice glass of wine away from this sex pest. Brilliant. Number 8. Joker accidentally kills himself. Batman Arkham City. No one really saw this ending coming. Well, aside from those that know that Hamill said repeatedly that he'd not voice the Joker again. <laughs> yeah, right, that turned out to be true, didn't it? But the final moments of Arkham City for everyone else were truly jaw-dropping. Basically, Batman returns to the now deathly ill Joker with an antidote to the horrible Titan formula. However, as he enters, the Clown Prince of Crime drops a preemptive stab on him and a fight ensues. This causes Juicy Bruce to drop the vial and thus doom Joker to his fate. But even after all of this, Batman tells Joker that he would have saved him given the chance, which leads to the final line, that's actually pretty funny, before he passes away. It's a powerful moment and one that will leave your simple-minded jaw slackened. Number 7. Finishing Far Cry 4 in 15 minutes. Far Cry 4. This one is both a WTF moment, trademark King Ross, and an easter egg, so it's like a double whammy. So after you've watched the opening to Far Cry 4, you might get the impression that Pagan Min might not be the best person to trust, and as soon as you get the option to run, then you're probably going to take it. But if you decide to listen to the blonde haired butcher and just stay put for 15 minutes, then he'll actually return. The best thing is, he takes you to your mother's grave, gives you some time with the urn, and then tells you stories that only he knows about. It's charming and totally unexpected, and for that, it's well deserved a place on this list. Number 6. Dragon Piss, Dragon Guard 3. Right, enough emotional talk, back to the silly. This is probably my favourite strange moment in gaming, but because of its lack of popularity in the mainstream, I've kept it high up. I don't know how to explain this, so I just want the editor, yes, you, editing this together, to use this one clip of the actual scene that I'm talking about in question, so you can see it's been totally unedited. So your character Zero, aka the chick with the flower in her eye, finds her dragon Michael rolling around in the mud. She doesn't like this, and for reasons, has a go at him. And this results in the poor dragon, well, just, just watch this, I mean, yeah, he just, he just pisses himself. The look of disgust on her face is priceless. Need I say more other than, you're welcome. Number 5. Press X to Jason. Heavy rain. I mean, this is so messed up. What is essentially a scene about a father losing his son should be, you know, very f***ing tense. But it reduced gamers to fits of laughter all because of the on-screen prompts. The director David Cage played this and many other aspects of Heavy Rain in a very odd manner, putting motion controls and QTEs into the mix that sometimes worked really well, but other times was just terrible. This is one of the latter as Ethan searches desperately for his son, but all the while the player is making him sound like an ass as he shouts, Jay! Jason! 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 He's like a fucking Pokemon. But you know what? It's hilarious, and it shouldn't be, 
but that's why it's great. Number four, the whole of Deadly Premonition. Deadly Premonition. Yeah, I know it's a cop-out, but Deadly Premonition cannot be boiled down to a singular weird moment. The odd dialogue, the bizarre setting, the enemies that try to feed you their forearms, and the utterly batshit music choices. It's all just that lovely level of uncanny which makes the experience just scream those three words. What. The. Zack. Fuck. I mean, fuck. The game homages a lot of the same vibes and tonal beats as Twin Peaks, and it makes for some truly weird moments. You'll find playing this to be equal parts humorous and frustratingly obtuse, but there are many, many moments which will render you utterly helpless to its auteur charm. Number 3. Quiet's Clothing Choice Metal Gear Solid 5. Right, okay, I know there's going to be a lot of oily children who will furiously squeak at their computers when I say this, but Quiet doesn't need to be dressed the way that she is. Her half-naked appearance caused a lot of stir in both the gaming community and collective trousers, and we all ended up asking, why? Well, Kojima, being the fantastic narrative writer that he is, says that she dresses as such because she breathes and takes nutrients in through her skin. Now, I've got no beef with sexuality in gaming at all, but this is so goddamn dumb that it left so many people just shaking their heads. But I bet Kojima and his rabid fan base were pretty pleased with themselves at this. Ha! We've explained why she dresses like she should be in a white snake video with reason! But they seem to have forgotten about the infamous helicopter scene in which she bends over and poses all the time. As a result, both this clothing choice and the chopper private dancers are very, very much what the f***. Number 2. Divine Art Ending. The Stanley Parable. I could put the majority of the Stanley Parable on here, but this one ending is so batshit that it made me laugh, shake my head, and even worry about the people who made this. In essence, the Divine Art ending is a call to anyone who has a ton of time on their hands and are desperate enough to see all the endings to the game. You basically have to press a set of buttons for hours with no indication of when it might end. But as a reward for all of your hard work, you get an ending in which you meet the Divine Art, a being that looks like the monolith from 2001 A Space Odyssey, and it tells you of your reward. To live for a Eternity, doing improv comedy for the strange object. Count me the f***ing. And number one, the ending, Mass Effect 3. Right, well, sorry to end this list on a bit of a downer, but the closing moments to Mass Effect 3 was just simply brain-bustingly infuriating. Having taken your crew across three games and bonded or bedded them along the way, it was such a letdown to be presented with this. Red, blue, or green. And Bioware was like, that's all you get, dude. Nothing substantial, Just it's just a hard stop on the narrative so that we can just get the f*** out of here quickly. But what made this such a WTF moment, trademark King Ross, was that it all felt totally phoned in. And it wasn't with gamers laughing or shaking their heads as with some others on this list, but a unified rage that it was over so quickly. And that's our list. Got any other WTF moments of the last decade that you want to talk about? Well, let me know about them in the comments section below. And then head back to whatculture.com for more news and articles like this every goddamn day. And then you should follow us on the Twitter's going, you know you want to. As always, I've been a retro J, you've been awesome, and I'll speak to you soon.